Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, the Frugaliffy. So in a lot of my videos, I use the terms financial security, stability, freedom and independence. But what do those terms actually mean? Today, I want to use this video to explain what each term relates to because the road to financial independence is actually made up of a series of stages rather than being one giant leap. And I think if you understand what the stages are and you can work out what stage you are in, you'll be able to work out if financial independence is attainable for you because you'll be able to work out what you need to do next to get to the next stage. Make sure you watch to the end and I'll tell you what stage I'm at and whether I'm part of the FIRE movement because that's something we haven't talked about yet. Okay, let's get into this video. So stage one is financial dependence, the polar opposite of financial independence. Here, we're talking about being dependent on other people's money, whether this is our parents, whether this is the state, the government, or friends, family, or the bank. Now, there's nothing to be ashamed of with this stage. We all, all of us, including me, start here at some point in our lives. So you might be a student depending on your parents or your student loans. You may be temporarily unemployed, so relying on the state for an unemployment check, or you do earn a salary, but you are spending more than you earn, i.e. you are using debt that you're generating every month to cover your expenses. Now, if you're lucky, your net worth will be zero because you've accrued no debt. But even if you are just a student, by virtue of going to university and getting a student loan, your net worth will be negative. As I say, we all start here. Stage two is solvency. Now we are getting our heads above water. At this stage, we are no longer dependent on other people for money. We are now in a position to meet our own financial commitments with our own money. We're finally making more than we spend. If we were a student or we were unemployed, we now have a job. If we were already employed, we now have a higher paying position or we've cut down our expenses, our outgoings, or we've refinanced our debt. So our salary, our pot of money every month goes further. We're no longer incurring debt on a monthly basis. In my opinion, if anybody's at this stage, they should be proud of themselves because it means you're now making enough money to cover your expenses and cover your debt without the situation getting worse. It proves if you've gone from stage one dependency to solvency, that your relationship with money is changing and that you're taking more responsibility for yourself. Yes, your net worth will be negative or zero still if you're lucky, but reaching this stage gives us a great platform to work on, to move forward and really build something. Stage three is financial stability. This is where the power of the emergency fund or the rainy day fund, whatever you want to call it, comes into play. Because at this stage, we become true savers. At this point, we've paid off some debt. We probably have some debt left, but we've paid off a good chunk of it. Because of our budgeting and maybe our frugality, we've been able to build up an emergency fund. So if anything unexpected pops up, we now have the cash to solve our problems. In the other stages, if anything unexpected popped up, we would have to get a loan or pull out the credit card, ask friends or family to cover us, pulling us back into more debt. Now you don't have to be completely debt free here, but you have got rid of most of your consumer debt. What it means is if you still have a mortgage or a student loan, that your net worth may still be negative, but it's improving every day, every month that you put more money away and that your assets are growing, your net worth is improving. And if you're lucky, it might be positive. Stage four is debt freedom. We have finally reached boss level now that all of our debt has been eliminated. Now there's a bone of contention here because for some people, debt freedom means complete debt freedom, good debt included, so no mortgages or student loans. For some other people, debt freedom looks like freedom from consumer debt and maybe car payments. 
in my personal opinion, debt freedom includes mortgages and student loans. Now, depending on your view on this, your net worth is going to be positive and it's going to be big and growing every month. This is a really exciting stage because now you have so much more money to play with. You can really start building. So stage five is financial security. In this stage, our investments and our savings are really starting to bear fruit because the income from our investments and maybe passive income, side hustle income that's coming in is now enough to cover our very basic, our bare bones living expenses. Now, we aren't quite ready to quit our jobs just yet. Though we have enough money to cover the bare, bare, bare essentials for the rest of our lives, we don't quite have a big enough safety net yet financially. So we keep working to make the money to build the investment pot and the savings pot. Go to work. Now the good thing about this stage is although we can only just about afford to fund a rice and beans existence, we have officially moved from surviving to thriving. We're on the cusp. We're on the cusp of freedom. A few more years, maybe a few more months, a few more investments and we're almost there. It's getting exciting. Stage six, financial independence. Guys, we've done it, finally. At this stage, our pensions, our investments, and our savings are significant enough to cover our expenses for the rest of our lives. Now, depending on what type of lifestyle you've been saving for, investing for, you are going to have a, a big lifestyle. You may have a very, very sparse lifestyle, but that decision will be up to you. Freedom is now in your hands. Because you know that your money will continue to work for you and grow passively, you no longer have to work. This may be your opportunity to quit your job and go live your dreams and follow your passions. Or if you really love what you do and it kind of just keeps you entertained, you may decide to continue working knowing that the pressure is completely taken off. If it gets too much, I'm out of here. As I said, your lifestyle will determine how much you need to have saved for financial independence. But as a rule of thumb, it's suggested that you need to save 25 times your annual, annual expenses so that you can then aim to live off 4%, possibly 3.5% of your portfolio's value. You may be watching this thinking, well, I don't make enough money to be financially independent. I'm not rich. I'm not making hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars a year. It's not possible for somebody like me. But I'm gonna challenge you and say that actually, no matter how much you make, within reason, within reason, that it's your savings rate, how much you're able to save from your salary, from your income, from your passive income, your side hustles, every month that will determine how quickly, how long it will take for you to reach financial independence. Be patient. If this is something that you want, you will get there. Ignore social media, ignore the news. You don't have to have reached financial independence by the time you're 35. Know your numbers, put your head down, and you'll get there, I promise. Stage seven is financial abundance. We have finally reached our final form. This is a stage that I don't hear many people talking about because normally with financial independence, we hear about having enough money to live the life that we want to live for the rest of our lives. But with abundance, we're talking about having plenty of money. Moving into financial abundance gives us a multitude of choices. We can live the life that we want to live. That's fine, but now that's boring. At this stage, depending on what we're interested in, we may want to build more wealth by investing in properties or businesses. Equally, we may have a philanthropic bone to us, and so we want to give to charity. We want to set up foundations. We want to help 
other people have a better start in life, a different chance in life. And so we give generously to as many people as we can. Abundance allows us to start thinking about generational wealth for our family and generations to come. It also allows us to think about legacy, the stamp that we're gonna have on the people around us and even possibly the world. Abundance will allow you to touch as many people as you can reach. It could allow you to do great things in the world and really think beyond so, yourself. What financial stage am I at? I am solidly in the financial stability stage, stage three. I have a six month emergency fund, numerous sinking funds, an investment pot, and a number of healthy pensions that are still growing. But if you've been with me from the start of my YouTube journey, then you know that I have debt. I have no consumer debt whatsoever, no credit cards, no car loans, nothing like that. All my debt is tied to my property. I have an outstanding mortgage balance, just under 104,000 pounds, and I have a smaller home equity loan of just under 13,000 pounds that I'm slowly but surely paying off. My plan is to have paid off my homeowner's loan in 2021 and start my journey to mortgage freedom. And then I will officially be debt free. Under the fire movement, I have one eye on it. One foot is in the movement and the other foot is firmly out of the movement. And the reason for this is because I am not 100% focused on maximizing my savings account today. The reason being is that I'm balancing debt repayment, saving for my long-term future with paying for my MBA. Once my MBA is complete next year, or at least once I actually make my final MBA payment in March, 2021, I will be able to go completely beast mode on paying off my debt and starting my own personal fire journey. Although I know it's gonna take a few more years before I reach debt freedom, I'm still really excited about this journey because once I have reached debt freedom and I've paid off my mortgage, I know that financial independence will be within my grasp. I have growing assets. Despite my debt, my net worth is positive and pretty healthy actually. If you want to know what my numbers are, my actual assets, what my net worth is, drop down in the comments and let me know and I will make that video for you. I want to try to be more transparent and actually share some of my numbers. So please do give me a thumbs up, don't forget, and let me know that you want to see them because you think it will be useful. Please also let me know what financial stage you are at and what you're doing to get to the next stage. Let's give each other moral support. We will definitely get there. We just need some patience and some cheerleading. <laughs> but let's be excited for each other. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it did give you value, if you found it useful, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Come back for more videos. Check these out. Until next time, thanks. Bye.